Well, I really hate making these videos. I really do not like coming out here. In fact, I don't like thinking about my crazy hypothesis and theory. Uh, it frustrates me. I haven't <laughs> got any real support from any geologist. So, um, I've let it go for many months. And uh, recently I've been thinking about it. And that's been basically due to um, the fact that uh, there's been many swarm earthquakes lately, some near Reno, Nevada. In fact, there was an earthquake right under the North American continent near the state of Illinois. Many swarm earthquakes there um, and off of the coast of Oregon. And uh, got me thinking. Also, volcanoes. In South America, there's been a couple erupt recently, one after 9,000 years. And uh, to me, this makes absolute sense. Of course, there's earthquakes uh, happen and volcanoes erupt. Um, not frequently, but they occur. The problem being that uh, as we warm the Earth, we take away the Earth's cooling, the glaciers, the cold oceans, and this is going to increase tectonic activity and volcanic activity. And I, and I see it happening. Um, but it got me thinking, and I started thinking about Hudson Bay again. And just looking up information, I found a website, which I'll add a couple of them. Um, one of them was describing that, in fact, because I've proposed that I might be wrong, it might not be a volcanic eruption that created Hudson's Bay, but it might be a series of impact craters, as I've demonstrated that Hudson's Bay is in perfect alignment with the Manicougon crater and PEI and all the way up to a mountain range out in the Atlantic in perfect alignment. However, and I said, it could be an asteroid strike, a series of asteroids hitting the Earth. But this article goes on to state that the geology of the Belcher Islands, which are in the southeast end of the bay, could not have been, as people have proposed, an uplift due to an asteroid. Once an asteroid crashes into the earth, the material at the bottom rebounds up and you would find lots of fractured material from a very low s strata uh, on Belcher Island, but that's not what they found. They found very slow formed, uh, in fact, this was from a higher strata, from an old mountain range around, uh, Oh gosh, about three billion years ago. Um, and so they've determined that this could not have been created by an asteroid. It's funny though that they, in the same article, just say, well, it was caused by glaciation. Well, they didn't even say that. It just said that the formations are fortuitous, meaning that they just happen to look like the arcs, uh, like a perfect arc. It just happened. But they don't really explain how. Um, there is another article I found, in which I'll add, where they do point out that there are some circular formations. They show Hudson Bay. They also show PEI. Somebody's noticed the same thing that I have, and they show PEI, and they just and they show actually the Great Lakes, Michigan, and they say that this is just a, a very uh, soft layer of sandstone, and that uh, glaciation has eroded it into these uh, circular formations. I don't buy this. I just don't buy the glaciation, especially of uh, of Hudson's Bay, because quite frankly, it's a perfect circle, and we're forgetting about the rest of the Hudson Bay. It's a huge body, a huge open wound on the land. Um, I do not believe that glaciation just scooped out this entire bay. Uh, just doesn't make sense. That's not a good explanation. Uh, however, I still believe that it was a volcano. And because the volcano, this major eruption, mega eruption, would have blown the top half of the magma chamber away, there would still be uh, sediment underneath. It would blow straight up. The bedrock rock would force the explosion up. So therefore, after you have glaciation, which I believe happened, it would scour the top of Belcher Island off, and it would reveal this strata from uh, a 
few billion years ago. Um, whereas an impact crater would not do this. So I'm convinced that it was not an impact crater. I agree with the geological assessment of it, but it still doesn't explain how PEI, this circle that somebody's also found, and Matacugan and Hudson Bay are in perfect alignment. The alignment would lead me to believe that it was an impact series, but it's not. It's, uh, this makes me crazy because I have a mental illness and I hate thinking about this. It frustrates me that I can't get anybody to really... And, uh, and it's funny that actually the type of eruption that I describe, a water-induced eruption, happened actually at Krakatoa. I saw a program where uh, the scientists explained that it was probably there was a fracture and seawater got into the volcano and that's what caused in fact they heard the volcano for many many thousands of miles around it was an ex amazingly loud explosion so this is what I've been trying to get along <sighs> I'm frustrated anyways uh, I'm right I know it I don't know how to prove it um, I've tried to get people talking I'm just struggling on my own life I'm feeling a little better this, like I said, is just for my own benefit to get out here and just say, I told you so, kind of thing. Um, anyways, so it's not my imagination. I'm not the only person to see these circles. I have an explanation for it. Uh, and, and that's that. Okay, that's it. That's all I want to say.